Hey guys, welcome back to the One Bag One World channel. My name is Bree, and if you've been watching the channel at all up to this point, you know that my boyfriend and I quit our jobs in June 2022, and now we are traveling the world as one baggers. If this is your first time coming to the channel, thank you so much for being here. I put out a bag video a couple months ago detailing what I put in my bag for a two year trip around the world, and this video today that I'm putting out is well overdue because this is our seven month review. Now in the seven month review, I wanted to go through things that I might have gotten rid of and more importantly, things that I picked up on the road up to this point. So let's get into it. By the way, for the original backpack tour, check out the video I filmed a couple months ago. I'll be dropping it in the link below. During today's bag update, I'm going to be sectioning it into three different sections. So the first one's gonna be clothing, the second one's gonna be health and beauty, and the third and final is going to be miscellaneous items. So item number one today is gonna to be my red pants. If you watch the other video, and hopefully by this point you have, you know that I picked up these really cheap flowy red pants in Switzerland. They were cute, a little bit frumpy, and I liked them enough to keep them up until Vietnam, which is where I am right now. But I ended up taking them to a tailor in Hanoi, Vietnam, so that I can get them turned into shorts. I just didn't really like the way that they laid on my legs as I wore them. So I got them turned into shorts, but of course now we're moving into the cold season. So I actually shipped them back home to Colorado with my friend who came to visit. And I won't be seeing them for a couple months, but I have a feeling I'll be getting them back in spring when I see him in South Korea. Number two on this list is something I actually just picked up yesterday at Uniqlo, and it's gonna be our heat tech clothing. This is gonna be so important because as I said, we are moving into the cold season now. We're gonna be going to Taiwan here in a couple weeks and I hear it's a little bit brisk there. So I wanted something I could put under my clothing and this is the best option by far. They're cheap, they're efficient, and I just really like how they feel. So we got pants and a shirt. And the good news is with the shirt, I can actually wear it as just a plain t-shirt because it just looks like a regular shirt anyway. So I'm really happy that we were able to get these. Number three rain jacket. During the last video that I took, I got a lot of heat for not having one of these, but surprisingly I picked this up in Greece and I still haven't used it all that much. Again, moving into the cold season, I'm predicting a little bit of rain, maybe some sleet, maybe even some snow where this will become more and more valuable. But so far up to this point, I haven't used it nearly as much as I thought I would. With every new city that we go to when it's rainy, we can usually find an umbrella at a hotel and it just really hasn't been a problem. But so far, so good with this one. I've used it a handful of times. It's from Quencha or Quenchua. I haven't really seen this company in the United States, but I have seen it in a lot of places here in Asia and also in Greece where we picked this up. This one is very nice because it's packable, but also because I got it extra large. So it even covers my backpack as well when I wear it. Number four black flowy pants. I said it once, I'll say it again. For some reason, flowy pants are just a little bit difficult to find. So I picked these bad boys up in Bali. They are so cute, they're so comfortable and they look really, really good on me. So I'm glad that I got them. They were 30 bucks. So it was a little bit pricey, but well worth it. And I even took them into a tailor here in Vietnam once again, because they're known for how amazing their tailors are. And I got the side sewn up because they had the whole like leg showing trend that's going on right now, but I just didn't really feel comfortable. So I wanted only a little bit of the leg showing, but overall I'm so happy I got these and I wear them as pajamas or loungewear. I wear them out, I can dress them up and a huge fan of these guys. I wish I had a link for them, but I don't. Uh, they were just in one small boutique in Bali. Number five, black leggings. So when I went on this trip, I brought two pairs of Athleta black leggings and I ended up shipping one home because it was so ungodly hot everywhere we went that I just couldn't imagine wearing them. Now that my friend had come to visit, I asked him to bring me an additional pair of leggings. A, because they were on sale and I love them. B, because I knew I was gonna need them moving into much, much colder cities. And they're just so comfortable to wear under pretty much anything that I have and they're very warm. And they're also very flattering. I can wear them to the gym, I can wear them lounging, I can again dress them up. So this is a very crucial part of my wardrobe. If you watched my last video, you know that this is my very, very favorite top of the line travel item and I still think that's true. If you don't have leggings, you need to go and get some immediately. Number six, my black shirt. Again, in the video I mentioned that I had accidentally left my beloved black Vuari shirt in the city in Austria. Luckily, we were able to message the hotel and get it shipped back to Switzerland, but I was pretty heartbroken that I wasn't able to get it, so my amazing boyfriend had one sent to Turkey with his mom where she was able to give it to me, so thank you Jeff's mom and thank you Jeff once again. This shirt is heavy, it doesn't breathe well, 
it's not even cut particularly well, but for some reason it's my absolute favorite. And it's just one of those comfort travel items where it belongs to me, it's my favorite thing, and I don't care if it does well in the heat or in the cold, it's just something that makes me happy. And once again, if you haven't checked out the Vori items online, give it a shot. They're really well made and I just think they're very comfortable. Number seven, my bucket hat. So bucket hats were very much going back into trend, but now I feel like they're kind of going back out of trend, but I don't care, they pack flat. And I think they're really cute on most people. And also the thing that I wanted it for was that it kept the sun out of my face. My face and my skin are very, very sensitive when it comes to the sun. So I wanted to be sure that I was able to keep it covered and also for aging or anti-aging. So keep the sun off your face if you can, wear a hat when you can. I'm so glad I picked this guy up. If I didn't have one of these, I'd probably just go and grab a regular baseball cap, but I was able to find one of these in Turkey for about four bucks. Number eight my no-show Darn Tough socks. I love Darn Tough usually. This is something that I'm actually gonna be leaving behind here in Vietnam. These are the no-show socks, as I said, but for some reason they just keep sliding off of my heel and it's just really starting to get on my nerves and I start to wonder like, why am I carrying these around with me when I never exclusively pick out these socks to wear? They pretty much just sit in my bag. So if you ever heard the saying, inches make miles or ounces make pounds. Even though these are very small, it's gonna leave room in my bag when I get rid of them for some big wool socks when I move into some colder times. All right, moving on to my health and beauty items. I had one that I picked out specifically for my best friend to bring to me here in Vietnam. Um, in terms of skincare, I think that cleanser is one of the most important things that you can keep with you. So I had him bring the hard bar of Drunk Elephant's cleanser. It is scent free and it is basic cleanser, but the most important thing here is that Drunk Elephant is an amazing company that puts out amazing products, but also this is not a liquid. My liquids are full to the brim as it is, so this is a really nice option to have. And the set that I got on Amazon actually came with two of them, so these are gonna last me a very long time. Number two is gonna be my multivitamin. I actually picked this up in Cambodia. I don't know why I didn't bother to bring a multivitamin before, but it is so important. And I even tried to find a prenatal vitamin, but it's not really a thing anywhere else around the world. I don't know if my translation is bad when I go into some of these pharmacies, but it's just really not a thing that exists. So I went with just a basic Centrum multivitamin daily for women. I don't know that it makes all that much of a difference, but even if it makes a small difference, I wanna take them because sometimes traveling nutrition is isn't the best. You're not always able to find a really rich, healthy salad or something that's gonna be a little more substantial in terms of nutrition, so I'm glad I have something. Number three on the list is gonna be my compact tampons. In my other video, you could probably see I was using the full-size tampons with the plastic applicator. I'm really glad I don't have to worry about those anymore. I've been trying to find more and more of these no matter where we travel, but they're not always easy to get to. So whenever I find them, I usually try to stock up. I don't like leaving a lot of plastic behind and also the plastic just takes up more room in my bag. So I've been trying to upgrade and stick to these. And last but not least on the list is gonna be some makeup I picked up in Bangkok. I had a little bit of wiggle room in my bag, so I decided to get three small pieces of the Sephora and I got eyeshadow, eyeliner, and then a tiny little eyeshadow brush. It's not much, but it's enough to make you feel like you're dressing up when you want to dress up and put on more makeup. Obviously, I don't wear this stuff all the time, but I think it's good to have to make you feel a little less frumpy. When you start traveling long-term, you start to feel a little, yeah, frumpy is the best way I can put it. So if you ever want to go out to a nice dinner or even just dress up just to dress up, it's good to have a couple small items that make you feel good about yourself. And finally, we are moving on to the miscellaneous part of my bag where I picked up items along the way that I didn't think that I would need, but I ended up loving once I got them. Number one is gonna be my HDMI to USB-C adapter so that I can plug in my laptop to a television in a hotel room or a B&B &B and be able to watch my shows on a larger screen. This is so nice. I didn't think I was gonna want one of these, especially considering Jeff has one, but he has one that doesn't work for my laptop. We have very different laptops. So we decided to pick this up and it's nice to be able to have him work on his computer while I watch a television show on mine. If you don't have one of these and you don't think you're gonna need it when you're traveling long-term, you are wrong, pick it up. See to Summit Pillow. I picked this guy up in Singapore. I think it was like 35 USD. I used to carry around the bigger size of the sit pillows, but I found this one and I couldn't resist. It is so small, so flat. I can carry it in my day pack anywhere or just slide it in the laptop compartment of my big bag. It is very, very convenient and I love it. It works well for what I need it for and it's much smaller than the other pillow that I had. All right, moving on to this item, which is a little ridiculous. I didn't think I was gonna need one of these, but I'm so glad that I have it. Again, my best friend came to visit me here in Vietnam and he brought me one of these. You just plug it into your phone. You can carry it around your day pack and it is so nice for when it's extremely warm. It's a game changer. 
Of course though, I got it when we're moving into winter. It's ridiculous. And finally, I was able to pick up some small travel items from the store Muji. I think it's a Japanese store and we were able to get it yesterday after we went to Uniqlo. I got these as pill bags because the plastic ones that I have, um, they just seem to rip open and it starts to get really frustrating after a while to keep picking up the pills in the bag and then putting them into different containers. I just wanted something a little more sturdy, so I grabbed two of these. And for this guy, I'm gonna use it for my travel towel. Unfortunately, I lost the little black sack that it came in, but no worries, I can put it in here and it even has the fishnet, I guess, so that it can remain drying when you put it in and I'm still traveling out and about and it's in my bag. So very happy about these purchases. Now there is one more thing I wish to purchase in the future that I don't have today and I don't foresee getting in the future, especially before we go to Taiwan, but that's gonna be a winter jacket for obvious reasons. It's gonna be cold. Now I tried to get one at Uniqlo. I know that their jackets have really, really amazing reviews, but unfortunately I'm a little bit too big to get one there at the moment. I knew going to Asia was gonna be difficult for me to find clothes. I'm roughly 5'8", 5'9", and um, a bigger stature than all of the small petite Asian women. So when I tried on the jackets at Uniqlo, it looked like I was wearing a child's jacket. It did not look good. So I will be keeping my eye out in the future for something that I can wear long term. Until then, we have a fleece that we bought in Greece, and I'm gonna couple that with the heat tech clothing that we got at Uniqlo, and then just go ahead and power forward with that. I'm thinking when we head to Australia, we'll be able to find something that I will fit into. So until then, we're just gonna make it work. Okay, so to wrap up this video, um, I know we had a lot of requests for me to do like a full pack out of my bag so you can see how everything fits and where I put it. Keep in mind, I'm doing this under a staircase for good lighting. So hopefully all of this is in the video. If not, sorry, I'll try to do a better one next time around. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm actually doing laundry right now for full transparency. So I tried to pack out my cubes and whatnot with everything that I could find, but mostly we have stuff playing around our apartment we're renting, and of course laundry is in the washer. So bear with me, I put some towels and stuff in here to make it a little more real, but you can get the general idea of what I'm trying to get across. So at the bottom of my backpack goes my big cube, and in my big cube, this is where you're gonna find my pants, my shirts, any larger clothing items, because obviously it's gonna fit in here a lot better. And I put it at the base of my backpack just for a little bit more lumbar support because my back of course goes here. And then in the upper half, we have two packing cubes. One is full of my pharmacy slash bag of many things kit. I think it goes really well in the corner because a lot of this stuff smashes down. It's pills, it's tampons, it's earplugs, you know, pretty much any of the smaller things that kind of just crinkle together that I can search through if I need them. So I usually put this guy up here. For this packing cube, I leave it in this upper corner. This is gonna be my underwear, my bras, period underwear, my towel, sleeping shorts, and a couple camis as well. So smaller clothing items. And I just tuck that right in here. And in the back, of course, I have this compartment, which is where I put my laptop, because it's a laptop sleeve, so that's in there. And then I also put my laundry detergent. Again, I think I talked about these in the last video. These are super nice because they pack completely flat, so I just fold this up, put it back here, and it fits perfectly. So then I get these all situated, nice and tight, close up the netting, and then I move over to the other quadrant of my bag. Now, in this side of my bag, I always put my flip-flops, which I put in this bag because I don't want the gunk on the bottom to get on the rest of the stuff that I carry, including the bag. So I just tie them up in a simple, black plastic bag. There are other more uh, fancy bags out there you can put your flip-flops in, but this is, works for me. I've been using it for six months, so why not? On top of this, I put my first toiletry kit. This has my hairbrush, my makeup, my acne stuff. Anything that's not a liquid, basically, will go in this guy. Next to him, I put my tech kit. This is usually much fatter, but I'm using some of my equipment right now, as you can see. Um, so I just put this nice and snuggled in here. I usually try to put things with more of like the round corners on the outside just because it helps with the natural contour of the bag. Liquids, once they're all packed up, usually the last thing to go in my bag, so I put them up in this corner. They fit very nicely. And then here you can see the extra cash that I carry as well as my stamp collection. I also do a money collection, not coins, only folding. So I put them up here. My bucket hat is usually under this, but I'm washing that right now. So I put this here with my knee brace, and then I put my big chunky Bose headphones on top of it. So then I close up this side, fold it over, clip it, 
lock it, whatever I need to do. And there you have it. That's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, don't be afraid to reach out. We love answering questions about one bagging or traveling in a smarter way. As one baggers, we have to consider all of the climates that we're gonna be traveling to, which is not easy to do. We are now moving into the cold season in Taiwan, as well as Japan, where we're gonna be in Hokkaido for the snow festival. But also moving forward, we're gonna be in Egypt and Africa in places that are much, much warmer than we're used to. So I don't know how we're gonna balance it, but either way, I'll be giving you a couple bag updates along the way. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.